Welcome to this episode of Intermediate Financial Accounting 2's Our Community Counts. In this episode, we'll be looking at a company that publishes a detailed calculation of basic and diluted EPS. When Romedy came on board in 2012, there were just 21 women running Fortune 500 companies. This is a quote from Ron Miller, a writer for TechCrunch in 2020, shortly after the CEO, Ginny Romedy, of IBM left the company. IBM is a multinational corporation operating in the computer sector. It owns subsidiary IBM Canada. The company maintains a detailed basic and diluted EPS calculation in its financial statements. IBM Canada has a history of advocating for the LGBT plus community in its workforce. Contributions include things such as covering the cost of gender transitions and extending domestic partner benefits far before it became common among Canadian companies. Up until very recently, the CEO of IBM globally was Ginny Romedy, one of the few women to lead a Fortune 500 company. At the time that she left the company, only about 6% of CEOs of Fortune 500 companies were women. This underscores a particularly important difference between men and women when it comes to managing and operating large companies. Globally, and in the U.S. specifically at the Fortune 500 level, it is still very, very difficult to become the leader of a large corporation unless one is a man. The company uses its scale to perform other activities that typically get overlooked. For example, they have an active recruitment program that targets individuals with ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder, and they also provide free menstrual products for employees, clients, and partners in their various offices across the globe. These show additional tools that can be used to ensure that everybody feels included uh, and able to participate in the workplace, bringing them whole, their whole selves to work. A quote from IBM 2019's annual report says, IBM is committed to fostering a culture in which all IBMers feel they can bring their best selves to work. Diversity and inclusion are essential to our business. They fuel innovation and drive employee satisfaction. And in 2019, we achieved record diversity across all representation groups and best in class inclusion scores. We were again widely recognized as one of the best places to work for mothers, veterans, LGBTQ employees, and more. This serves to show the breadth of the commitment that IBM has made to diversity. If you'd like to know a little bit more about IBM and their commitment to diversity, please see the inclusion of the diversity section in their financial statements available at the investor relations page given here.